Den and DJ just released Engine Update 2.3, and there's some exciting features in it, some of which I'll talk about. However, I had some problems getting the update to fully work, and I want to show you the workaround so you don't get stuck like I did. Let's get into it. What's up, my fearless friends? My name is Shay Sean Phantom McPherson, and I'm a violinist, DJ, and MC. And on Gear and Gadgets, I like to talk about tech, apparel, and all gear for mobile DJs and musicians alike. Today, I'm really excited for the potential of the Engine 2.3 update because I'm a Prime Go owner, and I want to use this Prime Go in several new ways that this update allows me to use it. These are the basic four features of the 2.3 update. Nanoleaf smart light integration, engine lights now have the ability to sync music and manually control Nanoleaf smart lights over Wi-Fi. The second feature is Quantize is now a touchable icon on the toolbar. The third feature is beat jump size and auto loop size can now be adjusted independently. To adjust the beat jump size, hold shift and press the beat jump back or forward button to decrease or increase the size respectively. And the fourth and most important, added computer mode and supports for virtual DJ on the Prime Go. There's some other improvements and fixes, but I'm gonna stay with the features for now. The two basic reasons why I like this update is that one, it allows you to use the Prime Go as an external deck. Yes, an external deck, which means you can use it with another DJ software, which is Virtual DJ. Now I can use the power of the standalone in the Prime Go and also use it with my computer. Another exciting feature is the Nano Leaf integration and it allows you to use just you know colorful lights that sync up to the music from your prime go without needing a hub or a bridge all you need is a wi-fi signal but before i get into all the features i had a lot of trouble getting this one feature to work which is using the prime go as an external deck let me show you how i fixed that before i show you these great features just to let you guys know, I'm using a Mac computer. Um, there's a different uh, driver that you need if you're using a Windows computer. So I went through the steps for my Prime Go and Virtual DJ. I had to go onto Virtual DJ and I got a one month subscription, but you can get a lifetime subscription for $2.99, which I'll probably do if I end up keeping it. I updated the Prime Go to 2.3 like I normally update on the Prime Go, which is through the web and using Wi-Fi. No problems there. Uh, I downloaded Virtual DJ and I had everything set. I, I connected it through the USB cord on the back of the Prime Go into the USB-C on my Mac. No problems. So the next thing you have to do, you have to hit either the eject button on the go or you hit source on the go like you were using or looking for another drive when i hit that i saw a new icon which looks like a little computer i press that icon and it takes you to a screen that asks you if you want to go into computer mode i hit yes when i hit yes you see computer mode and you see these four dots on the bottom just going across Everything seemed fine. The problem was it stayed in that computer mode. It never came out of it. I left the computer up for like a half hour and it just kept running and running in computer mode. The Prime Go never fully sank with uh, Virtual DJ and I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. So what I did later, I went onto a Virtual DJ forum where I saw other people who had the Prime Go and a Mac like myself were having the same issue. And I scrolled down and I saw one guy say, make sure that you have virtual DJ version 8.5B7093. 
and he left a link to it. I wish Virtual DJ or Engine, you know, Denon, somebody let us Mac users know that that's what you have to do because it took me out many hours from making this video because it just wouldn't work. Once I downloaded that new version of Virtual DJ, everything worked perfectly. So I'm going to leave the link down in the, in the description and I'm also going to show it probably on screen. So let me show you guys how to set up the Denon to work with Virtual DJ. And some of the things I like about using Virtual DJ with the Denon Prime Go. So we're going to hit this little icon right here that looks like a computer screen. It's going to say this will stop all audio and restart the player into computer mode. Continue and we hit yes. Make sure that the, the Prime Go is connected to the computer. And we're right in. And as you can see, on the screen it says, would you like to use the Prime Go, which I wasn't getting when I was troubleshooting before. Before I had this updated version of uh, Virtual DJ, it wouldn't show this screen right here. And we'll hit OK. And this is part of what I like about Virtual DJ. It allows you to use the highs and the frequency knobs on the Denon to take out vocals or to take out instruments or to basically make a remix or you can make a uh, instrumental, which is great for me when I'm a musician playing the tracks. So we're going to check this one for vocals, instruments, and beat. Now, it should work. Let me use a song that won't get me messed up. So you can use the Denon just like the screen. Before, you would never see uh, folders and subfolders like this. Let me find one of my songs to use. And as you can see, the Denon is controlling everything. And you can take out the highs or the vocals. And I'm turning this on the Denon and it's controlling the vocals, the instruments, the beats, which is very cool. Change to train today. No bends, no Bentley, no planes. Black hood, onyx boots, pinky ring. And this is one of my songs I'm playing here. But I really like how this is set up because it reminds me of uh, DJ AI Pro by Algorithm. Like their neural mix, you can take out. You can take out mids, highs, and lows, which is very cool. I wish that they had this available for Serato integration, but I'll take it on virtual, virtual DJ because you can bring your Serato tracks um, into virtual DJ. Um, so I, I'm just going to get used to it. I got to figure out if I want to buy the lifetime membership for $2.99, but I see a lot of potential with Denon and Virtual DJ uh, together because you have two backups in one setup. And you can be truly wireless. If you have a good battery on your Mac and the four hour battery on the Denon uh, Prime Go, you can basically take this setup anywhere. And if you get yourself some good wireless speakers, maybe use something like 
use something like the uh, this right here, the Sky Pro. This Sky Pro gives you wireless um, integration between speakers uh, seamlessly. Uh, it's not like Bluetooth. It it allows you to hear uh, stuff right away. I have a video on it if you want to see where I use that to go into systems wireless, wirelessly. So with the Sky Pro, the Denon DJ, and your MacBook Pro, you have a backup in the system you can use the computer and the denon and then if the computer went down for whatever reason which has happened to me before you could just use the denon and uh vice versa if you bring yourself a small little uh deck to use with virtual dj you'll be backed up something like all you all you'll have to do is you know put one of these in your bag and if the denon goes you use this with your uh, virtual DJ and if the computer goes you use the Denon so I already see a lot of ways that this can be very good for you to have a backup it being like neural DJ AI pro or algorithm DJ it allows you to make instrumentals or acapellas on the fly which is very cool I thought only uh, Mac software out by algorithm DJ AI pro would have that but now Virtual DJ has it, and it's a game changer. And if you have a Denon, now you get that function on your Denon for all my uh, engine users. One other thing I got to say is I know a lot of people don't like the track bar on the MacBook Pro, but I'm one of the ones who actually still liked it. And if you have this computer along with, if you have this computer along with the Denon setup, you can actually use the track bar for a lot of useful tools. You can um, you can use it to scrub through. You can use it to jump hot cues. You can fire right from here. It's like a very cool display. I like the virtual DJ tag up in the corner there. There's a lot of nice stuff, in my opinion, on the track bar, and it makes the track bar more useful. So once again, I'm Shay Sean Phantom McPherson. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions about the Denon DJ Prime Go or Virtual DJ and their integration. I thank you guys for coming by. Please let me know if there's anything else or any other products you want me to tell you about or review. Um, it helps my channel. Make sure you subscribe and like so I can grow this channel to a thousand viewers. Uh, I'm small right now, but I plan on making it huge. All right. Once again, Shay Sean Fan, I'm McPherson. Peace.